Welcome to the NBA here on 2K Sports, a special Martin Luther King Day edition. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. The Warriors are in the midst of a road trip going into this one. They're one of the most dangerous teams in the NBA right now. No question, they've won seven of their last eight. And well, for the Warriors, they look like a team on a mission. We knew coming into this season. And it's Iguodala in at the small forward spot. James wide open. Good on the triple. James has got the first bucket of the game with the three. Flat and listless, no spark. And guys, as remarkable as Steph Curry's offensive game is. Alert to where you are. Wasted no time on that one. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, their last game a loss to Houston. And the issues they had defensively, in part, I thought, was a huge. Thinking man's defender knows how to bother even the best shooters without being overly aggressive. It's Curry outside, and that one's good. And broadcasting, though, it, it, I can't see him doing that. Did you? <laughs> yeah, right, I know. Right, right. <laughs> he probably just drone on as a broadcaster. Yeah. And rarely. He will wow you with his numbers or his athleticism, Clark. He brings a lot of intangibles, though. And I remember talking early in his career with Tom Islop at Michigan State saying the, those exact things that he gives you so much more than just what you see. And his current coach and our former partner, Steve Kerr, raves about him. He's the heart and soul of the Warriors, in Steve's words. We see with LeBron James, it's not just about the numbers, but his tremendous, tremendous leadership. I put all the pressure on me to, to be better and come through for my teammates. This is the position I put myself in. It's the position I put our team in, and as the leader, and the guy that goes out there and make things happen, um, that's the way it's going to be. That there is straight talk from a man who does not pretend LeBron everything on the offensive end, Clark. He's been that way really his entire career, going back to high school. Yeah, his game is low to the ground, too. No explosive moves or dunks. He takes you. Now here's Curry. He's coming off a 25-point game against Detroit. Bogut sets a screen for Curry. Lock it two, and he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. No good. Good D by Love. And sometimes he can hit that D3, but it's not a high percentage shot for him. Yeah, even for him, that's out of his range. No problems knocking that one down. How about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball? And the lead now, double digits on that bucket. Curry's got five points in the quarter. Just a great hustle play there. Energy and passion. This is what you play the game for. And after a slow start, Kevin, to the year in the turnover department, Curry was able to slowly right the ship. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down now to just eight. Screen by Bogut. Curry kicks to Bogut. It's stolen by Smith. Here's Mozgov, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Tell you what, as soon as they get their hands on the basketball, they immediately get out and transition. And Curry and his turnovers last year, a lot of it might have been getting used to a new system in a game. He owes his mom $100 per turnover. Cavaliers making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. And the looks like that. Here's LeBron. Eight points for him. And that one is hammer home. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those. Got 10. Screen by Bogut, over in the corner, Barnes. From 20 feet out, and Curry the bucket on the assist by Barnes. Getting a chance to refuel and hydrate with some Gatorade, as there is more basketball in store. How about Steph Curry in this one? He has 12 points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. Golden State looking at who they've got. Yes, the Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson at the guard spots. Iguodala and Green are set at the forward spots. And it's Bogut, and at the center, filling out the... Now, here is Smith. He has six. James. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And for Kyrie Irving, 
Good size at 6'3. Obviously a good athlete, versatile player. Greg, why do you think he's struggling defensively? Kevin, I think it's a matter of intent. James against Kerr. The drive by James. Love wide open. He fires. Yeah, he got straight over the back and on top of him there, too. So nothing subtle about that one. J.R. Smith's checked in for Cleveland. And the Warriors also making a change. Curry's checked in. Shot clock at six. And it's Golden State with another. And that's on. Love with the screen on Thompson. LeBron dishes to Love. Hops loose off the pick and hammers it home. Three point range. And James pulls it down. James has got three rebounds so far in the game. And way back when was because of his insane combination of size and movement skills. That's why he remains one of the excellent shot blockers in the league today. The most. The Cavaliers trail by 10. LeBron drives in. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. LeBron's got nine points now and just... So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke, standing by on the sideline.